Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a mystic with a unique gift and philosophy to help others help themselves through self-empowerment. And she embraces her ability to communicate with angels, helping others reach and tackle the core of any issues they may be experiencing in life. Please welcome back to the show, mystic and award-winning author, Maudie Fowler. Yay! Yay! Welcome, welcome. Oh my God, so since you were last here, you've experienced some moments that could have or changed the trajectory of our future. Whether a new business venture falling out with friends, um, speak to us a little bit about um, just what you've been going through since the last time you've been here. What has changed in your life since the last time you've been here? Last time I've been here in my life, my goodness, life is full of challenges. So even I was challenged mm -hmm. in reference to many things around me. I always say to myself when I go through the hardship levels, is life is to face it and embrace it. Yeah. Life mm -hmm. is to have faith. Life is to, you know, understand who you first really are and how you're going to handle life because it's not what happens to all of you. Mm -hmm. It's how you handle it. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of handling, I've, I've been through some, most people know I've been through some really tough challenges this year publicly, some public losses. Uh, and we all know that there's there's no one way to grieve. Yeah. But how would you how would you help or how would you guide someone through who, who's, who's been through something similar? See, for me to come in people's life, it's not immediately after passing. I always come for that season and that reason and that reason and that season. Mm -hmm. And in reference to the losses, I think in time, you will need time to go through your grieving and mourning. Mm -hmm. So for that matter, it is what you need to do to help yourself. Then after, you know, um, um, that time that you are thinking, okay, now it's time to talk to Marty or, you know, let me get in touch, then heaven and me come in. So when that happens, we will help you recognize everything that actually you can recognize from your loved ones in heaven and how that does, does that work it's actually I tune into your voice your voice is my frequency so that means um, so different as a psychic and a medium is our world is to let you know what heaven is actually heaven in store for you that's where we come back to what lies ahead when you have faith so those in heaven do heavenly work for you to do earthly work for heaven. Mm -hmm. So they have help you to overcome. So when we, heaven and me, me come into your life, is to help you recognize what they say. So I am actually your 911, your operator, your call waiting. Oh, wow. So, Marty, how do you position yourself to let go and let your, and allow yourself to be able to be used as a channel, to let go and let God, so to speak? So for me, and how to handle you all, because our book is out in many different countries, now it's also out in Spanish, so Ooh, I'm so nice. glad, <laughs> so I have to say that because we, we actually now help so many Spanish-speaking mm -hmm. countries. Coming mm -hmm. back to that question, it's actually, you know, for me to understand um, where the person is first in order to move on. To mm -hmm. letting go, letting God is always go to prayer, always have faith and you know let Jesus take the wheel mm -hmm. so for yourself to overcome is actually to understand yourself first mm -hmm. for me like I said I come then on that time when you're ready mm -hmm. when people are not ready then you know they eventually can't mm -hmm. they can't receive mm -hmm. oh. and, and in that process of, of letting go and letting God is is prayer alone enough to get you through? Actually, you need the help from many people around you. Mm -hmm. Support system. Support system from family, from friends. And when people are so much in their own world, you feel blocked, mm -hmm. you see? And also when heaven is your, your loved ones, your ancestors in heaven are trying to reach you, your emotions are in the way. So you cannot tune in. So this is not in what you, you know, look at that matters, but when you learn to see, it's not mm -hmm. in what you hear that matters, but really when you learn mm -hmm. to listen. And so they actually are with approval from God to be in touch with all of you. So if you cannot listen in or, you know, um, see in things because they put life guiding signs in front of mm -hmm. you, sometimes you pick up a penny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And wow. they actually put it there because they actually heard what you were thinking and wanted to help you because you're facing your crossroads, your standstill. So they want to let you know, hey, I heard you. So what do you do when you go to the store, you see a penny, you pick it up, not thinking anything. But isn't that in the English expression also a penny for your 
thoughts. Thoughts. Mm. So that's in the book. <laughs> so, okay, Monty. So uh, you have this amazing ability, which I've already frequented lots of times. And I, I absolutely love your advice and, and your support. Mm -hmm. So can you kind of um, do a reading on me today? Um, yes, um, just from the sound of my voice, because I know you have to uh, you have to get the frequency from my voice. Mm -hmm. what, are you what are you getting from me today? Actually, um, it's always cool because, you know, when you your handshake, your embrace, and your voice for the people at home, it's kind of like I'm immediately in your guys' business. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's why. <laughs> Do I want to be? Sometimes no. But, you know, I have to be. So it, in reference to that, in reference to your voice, and we do personal encounters. So with that encounter, there's so much for you to look forward to. Um, they show me things that actually are a little bit too fast. So I'm just going to catch it when I can. Um, but there is still a move coming up. And the move will not be fast, but there will be also, there's already looking into new houses. So if I spill the beans, I'm sorry, but. <laughs> <laughs> You're not spilling the beans. Yeah. But in a way, you know, it's, it's just uh, very cool and very beautiful and very positive. And in time that will be there and there will be more um, positions, um, offers coming in as well. Yes, the doors are opening in New York, um, New York, California, um, Florida and also here back in Atlanta. So you'll be um, traveling um, triangle ways. But everything will be happening um, when I get the chills and goosebumps. And it's actually, I'm very excited because <laughs> there's, there's some um, music coming in. And I think there's a new album coming out. There's a new album. Oh, wow. wow. July 26th. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm so excited. Yes. Was that okay? That's what's good. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm so excited. So then there will be that traveling coming in. I'm yes. so excited. And I have not talked to Marty in a long time, so she does not know this at all. We were just talking about this the other day. Yeah. Oh, this is too oh much. Oh, my God. This is too many. Okay. <laughs> oh, we, can't, we don't even have enough time to We stay. don't have enough time. So okay. thank you for joining us. I'm yeah. so glad I got to experience this with you today because yeah. this is my first time. I'm a first timer. Yeah. So you know what? You're, first of all, you're always welcome to yes. the circle. But guys, be sure to visit Maudie.com where you can pick up a copy of her book, Angel Messages, which is available anywhere books are sold. Got to yes. do it.